I'm Leah. I'm a raver and a yoga teacher, and I'm going to show you my favorite way to calm down after the club. Let's sit comfortably with our eyes closed and take a few deep breaths. Bring our awareness into the body. Inhaling and exhaling slowly, just relaxing here. We're going to sit grounded on the mat, but open our chest and slightly roll our shoulders backwards, elongating the spine, just bringing yourself there. Now we're going to bring our palms to touch in front of our heart. We're going to inhale and bring them to touch above our head. Exhale, release the left hand or forearm to the mat. Then extend the right arm to the left and open your chest. Take a breath and exhale, come back up and lift the arm back up to touch the right. We're going to interlace the fingers, stretch up and doing the other side. So let's release the right arm to the mat or forearm. Breathing deeply, opening your chest, extending the left arm. And exhale, bringing both hands up, interlacing the fingers and stretching up. Let's go to our all fours position, however you like to get there. And we're gently going to start flowing through cat and cow. When we inhale, we're going to arch our back, open our chest, pop the booty and look up. And exhale, curve the spine, tailbones goes in and chin to chest. Now let's do that for a few rounds, however fast or slow you like it to be. Uh, it's all about the free flow here, so it doesn't really matter, we don't have to make it perfect. Push back to a down dog. Let's get comfortable and correct ourselves a little bit. Make sure the legs are hip width apart and the hands are pushing the mat away from us. The tailbone is pointing up to the sky and we're going to start walking slowly towards our hands. Depends on your flexibility. We're going to bring our forearm to touch our shins and the belly to touch our thighs. So we're in a forward fold. Just breathing here. We can micro bend the knees if that hurts too much. Breathing here into the stretch. And now slowly, let's go to a tabletop position and fold back down. We're gonna grab opposite elbows and release the head. Inhaling and exhaling slowly. And we're gonna rise up. You're going to take a deep breath while standing up and bring your hands to touch above her head. Inhale and exhale, come all the way down. We're going to put our hands on the mat, look forward. Send our right leg backwards and left leg is in 90 degrees. We're going to bring the hands up and point them back so we're creating a mini back bend. Breathing deeply, opening the chest here and exhaling, bringing the hands back to the mat and back to a down dog. Take a breath in down dog. Now we're gonna send the right leg in front of us. Inhale, bring our hands up and back. Slightly bend our backs, open our chest. And exhale, hands come to touch the mat again. We're going back to a down dog and dropping the knees to the ground. Now we're on all fours and we're gonna drop our chest to the mat, bring our hands in front of us, but the butt stays up. And we're inhaling here and exhaling. Chin is on the mat and we're gonna slide and lie flat on our belly. Coming to cobra position, we can use our palms to push the mat away from us and come to the full extension of the pose. We're going to squeeze our butt so we can protect our backs and we go as far as we can without pushing too hard. Now we're going to push back into a child's pose, knees as wide as the mat and we're dropping the chest, letting it come close to the mat and the forehead is lying on the mat. Taking deep breaths here, just resting a little bit. Maybe bringing our hands above our head or just letting them be.
And we're gonna come back to our all fours. Let's open up the left arm and bring it down underneath the body to the right side. The shoulder is touching the mat and we're in a twist. You can bring your right arm to touch the inner part of your left thigh if that is possible for you. That way you can make a deeper twist. Inhaling and exhaling here, just relaxing into the pose. Putting all of our weight on our shoulder, just opening up the shoulder. And we're gonna gently come out of the pose, so we're bringing the hand down and back to all fours. We can do a little cat and cow and we're gonna do the other side, so we're gonna open the right arm and bring it to the left side and again we can use the other arm to grab the inner part of our thigh inhaling here and exhaling slowly making sure that we're not putting too much pressure on our shoulder We're gonna bring the hand down and come out of the pose. Inhale and go to a down dog. Inhale, bring the right leg up to the sky and exhale in between our hands into pigeon pose. So the right leg is bent. We try to create a 90 degree angle, but if it's too much, we can just keep it bent. Inhale, we're coming all the way up to a small back bend and exhale all the way down. We're gonna use our body weight to even deepen this stretch. Just inhaling and exhaling here. Trying to fix ourselves if we can and make sure the hips are aligned and parallel. And we take a breath and coming all the way up. Now we're gonna bring the left leg above the right leg, coming into a twist. The chest is wide open, we're gonna elongate the spine, and the body turns to the left side. We can use the left arm to push against the right thigh to deepen the stretch here. Inhale, and exhale. Now we're gonna release the legs in front of us and wiggle them to both sides, just dropping the knees, releasing here, and extending them in front of us, interlacing the fingers above our head and coming all the way down to a forward fold. We're gonna make sure that our belly is touching our thighs and it doesn't matter how far we get, just that we're doing the stretch correctly. Inhaling. Coming back to sit. And finding our way to a down dog. We're in a down dog, taking a breath here, fixing ourselves, preparing for the other side of pigeon pose. So inhale, the left leg goes up. and exhale in between our hands. So again, we're trying to make it a 90 degree angle while the right leg is extended backwards, but it's okay if the front leg is just slightly bent. Inhaling and exhaling, coming all the way down, putting our weight on the bent leg. Just breathing here. right leg above our left leg. The foot of the right leg is touching the ground and we're twisting to the right side. 
we can use our elbow to push our knee and extend this stretch even more. The chest is open and we're breathing slowly while elongating the spine and slightly looking up and back. And again, we're gonna release the legs. We're gonna wiggle the legs to both sides and extend them forward. We're coming to a forward fold, so extending the hands up and coming all the way down. Again, we're gonna try that the belly is as close as we can to our thighs, even if that means that we have to bend our knees a little bit. Just breathing here. And coming up. Now we're gonna do a bit of balancing. So we're gonna try to grab our knees or our feet and extend them in front of us. It's also okay if the legs are still bent. And again, we're just trying to bring the belly to touch the thighs. We're gonna look up and play with our balance here. And maybe we can challenge yourself a little bit and bring the shins to touch the nose. Just be playful here and slowly let go, release. And we're preparing to our last pose, which is called the fish pose. We're bringing the tip of our head to touch the ground while arching our back and straightening the legs in front of us. So this is also a really nice back bend. Just breathing, maybe hugging our chest. And again, we're gonna release. We're gonna hug the knees to our chest and start rolling the tailbone on the mat. Just a few circles here, preparing for a good rest. And we're gonna release into a Shavasana. You can stay here and meditate while lying down for 10 minutes or less or more. Or you can just rest for a few breaths and go to bed.